What's happening everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian Mello with Marty's Buick GMC and Chevrolet and in today's video we'll be talking about the new Chevy Astrovan. Yeah, the Astrovan. Bear with me. Let's get into it. Believe it or not, there was a time before the SUV reigned supreme and during that time the van market was a real battleground for manufacturers. Some of you, most of you, probably remember the Chevrolet Astrovan. In all the universe, there's never been anything like the new size Chevy Astro. Chevy, Chevy, Astro, Astro. The Astrovan was manufactured and marketed by GM from 1985 to 2005 and sold alongside its corporate sibling, the GMC Safari. The Astrovan was sold in multiple configurations as either a passenger minivan or as a cargo van. And General Motors introduced the Astrovan as a response to Chrysler's first generation minivans. I'm telling you, it was a battleground. The first generation Astrovan ran from 1985 to 1994, and 1990 actually became the first US built minivan to offer an all wheel drive system. In 1995, the Astro got a facelift and entered its second generation, which ran until 2005. Both the Astro and Safari were originally scheduled to be discontinued after 2002, but due to customer demand, they soldiered on until the last one rolled off the assembly line in May of 2005. What once was a booming market segment has slowly dwindled down, and as of now, if you are shopping for a minivan, you've only got a few options, and most noteworthy being like the Honda Odyssey, the Pacifica, uh, the Sienna, and what else is there? Like the Kia Sedona, we got the Chrysler Voyager, and actually Kia just came out with a brand new one. Surprisingly, who comes out with a brand new minivan? Uh, the Kia Carnival. But what if GM had decided to jump back in the ring? What would a modernized Chevy Astro van look like? And would anyone buy one? That, of course, being the question of this series. Well, thanks to artist Oscar Vargas, once again, uh, my good friend over on Instagram, I'm going to leave a link to his uh, Instagram account down in the bio below. Uh, we almost get to bring a bit of imagination to reality with his interpretation of what the new Chevy Astro van might look like. And I'll preface this by saying I've never been one to care about minivans, but this one, this one right here, this one I'd buy. Oscar actually took the current generation Silverado 1500, you can actually see this photo here, here's the original, uh, and seamlessly molded it into a utility van design. Now, it might not look much like the Astro van of old, but for this, I think that's probably a good thing, and the more I look at it, the more I like it. Oscar even went the extra mile and created a billboard ad for his creation, which utilized the original Chevy Astro tagline, the van that can. Yeah, if you noticed that earlier, back in the mid-1980s, Chevy promoted the Astro as the van that can. Now, although the passenger minivan market, in my opinion, is pretty much dead, the utility van or cargo market is far from it. And if we compare Oscar's creation to the current like Chevy Express van, I think GM may want to consider it because it sure as hell looks a lot better to me. Let me know what you think. Van design has been so stagnant over the past few years, and I think a big move like this could actually make a splash. Also, as GM Authority mentioned in one of their articles, actually about this uh, rendering, the van life movement keeps growing in popularity. So if things were to become a reality, if priced correctly, I think it could actually sell. But let me know what you think. Is the van market so dead that GM should just never consider anything like this? Or do you think there's an opportunity here that they could be missing out on? I mean, after all, Kia is launching a brand new minivan, the Carnival. So that would leave one to assume there must be some room in the segment for competition. Join the conversation below. Let me know what you think and answer the main question when it comes to this video series. Would you buy one? Why or why not? As always, I'd like to thank all of you for watching. Please consider smashing that like button as it really does help me out. And consider subscribing to stay up to date on all things GM with my weekly uploads. I'll catch you all in the next video, guys. Take care.